there's a little bit of pitting and a groove that's been worn in from the uh, old grease seal and this has been giving me trouble. So uh, the grease has been leaking out and of course water has been getting in. And so uh, it's either replace the axle or get or get one of these. It's called a uh, speedy sleeve and what it is it's a, a stainless steel sleeve that you drive over the spindle to repair the surface. Here. Comes in a little kit, has directions, a little tool to drive it on which is worthless here because it can't fit. But here is the uh, here's the sleeve. It's pretty cool. It's very thin. You don't even have to um, uh, get a special seal. The original equipment manufacturer seal for the trailer still works for this because it's uh, it's very freaking thin. All right. So in order to uh, get it on, I made this little tool out of an inch and a half EMT coupling and a little piece of EMT in order to drive it on. You know. So the sleeve goes on like this. Simple. You just clean the surface. Put it on, take the tool, it fits perfectly around the, the flange, and then just drive it on. <clears throat> Alright, so let's see if we can get this on right here. That's pretty much it. Now, <clears throat> the flange here has to be cut off and uh, peeled away, and I'm going to do that in just a second. Alright, hang on, there. let me get a, a tool. Alright, I'm just going to cut the I don't know if you can see it, what I'm doing here, but I'm just going to cut the end of it, like so. And this thing should just peel away. There it is. There it goes. Hey. That's it. I'm just going to use one of my old bearings to drive. You can see it's not all the way back. It still has to go back further, so I'm going to use one of the old bearings. That's still, that's still gouged up. Use my tool, put it in the opposite direction. Way. So it doesn't go any further. There you have it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move this camera in so you can see it closer if I can. Nice new surface. I've had to do this on all four of the axles. Um, come out good. It's, it's that simple. And now they got a brand new. Uh, brand new surface for which the uh, seal can ride on, so I'm, I'm happy. It should work out really good. just wanted to show you this because uh, I'm sure there'll be some point in time where you might have to do this. In fact, even if you uh, just decide to repack your bearings and stuff, it might not be a bad idea just to put these on anyway. I put them on all of mine just because I like the idea of a stainless steel surface for the seal. You know, no water's going to ruin it or it's not going to pit. Plus, it's a lot harder and the <coughs> seal won't be able to leave a groove in it.